Hi everybody, it's Thelma. Today I'm going to show you how I start with journals, okay? Um, first of all, I take a box and I cut these in half or even a little bit more round the corners. Okay, around the corners. Mm -hmm. Then what I do, I've got lots of journals in to show you. Then I take it and I glue them down and I let them dry really, really good overnight because you can never No. So it's better to be let it dry overnight. Take the clamps off. You can use anything, paper clips, clothes pins, anything. But uh, it, just to get a good seal. Okay, I use the tacky glue from Dollar Tree, mostly to do this process. It doesn't matter if it's sticking up a little bit, okay? Then what you do, I do this. Bobby Jo made this by hand, showed me this trick. She has a paper uh, uh, cups and she puts them in your glue in upside down in the bottles all right when you do that then you figure out how many sections you want usually you have an inch from the top and an inch from the bottom. This one is only going to have one because it's only one inch. I wrote down the measurements. This is one inch. This, oh, upside down. This is a little bit more than three inches and it is six inches long. Then what you do this is what they call an awl, A-W-L. It has a very sharp point in it. I have a wooden block. Some people use dictionaries, whatever, doesn't matter. You take it and you do this. You make sure you get a good hole in it. Okay. Then you line up your paper on the lines. This isn't very good. And what you do is you do you just draw them like that. Okay. Can't see it very good, but you get the idea. And you can use just about anything. I use, this is fishing line. I've seen people use string. I've seen people do Um, thread, I've seen them use, uh, uh, what do they call it? Embroidery thread. Um, Debbie's Crafty Den took her thread, just ordinary thread, and took a candle and was holding the candle like that and then running the thread through it with her thumb pushing on it. She made waxed 
thread. Wax thread is very expensive. So usually I do this before I even have it covered because it just helps. Then I take it and I cover the container, the box, whatever you want to call it. This one has got Christmas paper or Christmas rib material. All I do is very, very easy. Sorry, I'm just gonna. I've got to plug in my phone. Hold on. Sorry. I didn't realize it was the battery was going. And I. There. Sorry. I didn't want to start from scratch. Just take the glue. See, I've done these and I put this material in already. I've glued these two. I trimmed it like I did the paper with the edging. And I just take the glue, the same glue, and put it in on the edge really good. And on the material, That's it. Get my paper clips again, my clips. Fold the top one down. Yeah, now I got glue all over my hands. And it doesn't matter if you get just make sure you got a good corner. Make sure you get it in. The crease is really good in there. And on the edges. Because you do not want it to lift up. And I just take it and spread the glue. It's a messy, but I'd rather have it glued down really good. See, you don't want it, you want it to, there. It's easier to manipulate. So I make sure I got a good, a good one on the corners. I don't then I take it and I finish th this ribbon off that looks like it's got a gap in it gets a little messy but there like that. I'm just going to get baby wipe. Baby wipes are your crutter's best friend. They clean your stamps, clean your hands with glue. So yeah. All right, the next step after that is because you have it got measured already, cut out two pieces of paper, card stock, easier, whatever. Okay, a little bit smaller and glue them down. All right, you don't have to glue in the middle. 
take a piece of nice material and then the extra you do that all right when that is done you make sure you put the lid on the glue all right then you can add pockets all right and you figure out just how many how many things you want I find it easier, like I said, on this one. This is an inch and three quarters. So, because it's not an even number, one and one is two. So about three quarters of an inch is, would be the middle. Probably seven eighths. Let's see. Yeah, seven eighths. All right. Seven eighths. Seven eighths. Draw a line from top to bottom, it from the middle. Now, if you want to figure out, darn, took a pencil lid, how many sections? You want to leave about a quarter of an inch at least in between each of your different sections. And with it being less than two inches, because I usually use. 10 sheets of paper plus a cover so I use 11 sheets of paper per section so you don't want too many so I would only do uh, three Two inches, two inch is usually, and I do three. If you do anything more than that, you need to make your journal thinner, the amount of pages. Because as crafters, I think we're prone to stuffing. And if you wanna be able to close your journal, you know, You've got to, yeah, there. I always crease it because that way at least it will work. But you don't want to make it too, too thick. So, and a quarter of an inch is not very much. Let's see. To one inch. So. Yeah. Three quarters of an inch is the middle. And you do an inch from the top and then an inch from the bottom. Especially when you first start this, it is best to 
um, I do it on just a, a um, a practice piece because you're, go you're bound to make a mistake. You take your thread or yarn, whatever you're going to use. Like I said, this is a uh, fishing line. You go three times. And I usually do four, just because I like a little bit of extra of material to work with. You cut it. Sorry, I didn't have scissors out, so I had to get them. You cut it. I'll show you on this, on this one that I've done. What a three-hole pamphlet stitch is. You get a needle with a good hole. You don't need anything that's too sharp because you already have holes. Now, you can go up from the bottom. You, you, you do this whether you want it on the inside or the outside, okay? You go... If you want your yarn or thread to be on the outside, you do it from the outside. You start, see, you go and you hold this end. You start in the middle. Now you can go top or bottom, it doesn't matter. So I do the bottom, you go down. You miss the middle and come up, go in the middle again. That is what a three hole pamphlet stitch is. Now, there is such a thing as a five hole pamphlet stitch. It's the same uh, principle. Now, in order to tie it, you have, you pull, uh, you're not too rough on it because you've got paper, right? You just snug. And you have one wing here, one wing here, and you have them under the middle. And then you proceed to tie it two or three times. So because I started on the outside, my string will be on the outside. If I would have started on the inside, it would have been on the inside. That's the only thing you have to remember. So you start in the middle, you go down or up, whichever direction, you go to the end, go this way, Go underneath, go to the top, go in the middle. Okay, and that is it. That's a three hole pamphlet stitch. It's really easy. And it's a little complicated the more sections you have. But it's not, and it's harder the bigger the, the journal. So if you really want to start, or like this, look at this journal. This is my smallest one I've made out of cardboard. But isn't that cute? It's a little Smarties pack. I did three. Somebody will be getting this for Christmas.
So it doesn't matter what size of, of cardboard you use. I've used everything from a 12 inch. So I did uh, about 12 and a half. What, what, uh, width by six. Well, that's too big. You know, especially to even to get it into a box and mail it. So unless you're doing it, unless you're doing it for yourself. But yeah, so anyway, I hope this helps you a little bit more with journal making. It's a very fun process. And uh, I hope I answered all your questions. If I didn't, just leave them another message and I'll see what I can do for the video. And uh, uh, I will show you this the next time I show a journal. I have this one and another one for a friend. So thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. We'll see you around in another video. Bye for now.